looking ahead to today, what are you expecting from the markets? We have some macro things. Um, again, the U.S. and the U.K. attacking Houthi targets, oil prices moving higher. Then we have earnings season kicking off. So many moving parts. I think one thing that's been taken too much focus is on the Fed because we've already had the rally on the long end of the curve. And we're stable there in all likelihood now because longer-term inflation expectations should hold steady at 2%. 2% real, that makes a 4% 10-year. I think that sets the tone for everything, and it even puts in context, let's hope for peace in the Middle East, but it even puts in context the Houthi activity because as long as this doesn't spur longer-term inflation, even if the Fed cuts a little bit later than folks anticipate, I think you still see stabilization on the long end, and that means stabilization of PE multiples, focus on earnings. All right, speaking of earnings, Bill, I'm going to come over to you. Um, you're actually looking at the big bank earnings specifically when it comes to commercial loan activity. We're going to show the audience a chart that you share with us. Um, it shows commercial loan activity taking a very sharp move to the downside. With that in mind, what's your expectations for big bank earnings coming up later today? They're not going to be good. Uh, I mean, I think that's a given. The good news is the market already knows the fourth quarter earnings are not going to be good, both for what you're showing here, which is the loans have just fallen off in terms of year-over-year -year growth in loans, but also the FDIC special assessment. There's just a lot in this fourth quarter. Really, the, the bank stocks are going to be all about the future uh, okay. and when that kind of turn is. Um, and obviously, you've seen them run up quite a bit here late in uh, last year. And it wasn't because the earnings were supposed to be good in the fourth quarter. It's really all about you know, 2024. And I would, I would actually venture to say it's more uh, toward the latter half of 2024. Yeah, uh, we're just showing the audience the yellow line. That's the commercial real estate loans, again, taking the, the sharpest dip. The top line there, the blue line, that's overall loans. So, again, just to give people the context of just how impacted the commercial real estate market has been. Um, Bill, I'm going to stick with you. Looking ahead uh, to earnings season, right now we got some latest data from Refinitiv, or excuse me, LSEG, actually, um, just yesterday. I know you sent us some data from FactSet, but it shows a very muted growth in Q4 right now, just a 1% earnings growth in Q4. What does that signal to you about the markets, and, and how do you think that influences things going forward? Oh, excuse me, 4.7%. So, 4. I, 4. so I, I think we'll end up, you know, having, you know, I think that's actually a pretty reasonable estimate um, you know, facts that was a bit lower, but but I actually probably go more toward the number you're showing. Um, and really, you know, it's probably the same story, frankly, um, that it's going to be more about 2024 when it's hopeful that we get more double digit kind of earnings growth, um, assuming we dodge any sort of recession. And that's really part of the or really the big story of the end of last year was the higher probabilities of soft landing if, in fact, that happens you should see nice earnings growth overall in 2024. All right, Simi, I'm going to turn back to you. Uh, today, PPI as well. Is that meaningful? Yesterday, the investors just shrugged off CPI. It was a tick hotter than expected. Does PPI matter right now, or, or are investors looking ahead to other things like uh, PCE and, of course, the Fed meeting itself? It's a shrug off for the same reason we just mentioned, that the longer-term inflation expectations are likely to remain stable. And if you look at the correlation of stock prices, they actually have not that much to do with the Fed funds rate. They have everything okay. to do with the 10-year Treasury. So even if we see a little variability in even the one year, because maybe we think Fed okay. cuts are coming a little bit later, not that big a deal for the equity markets. All right, we're almost out of time. We're not doing the WEX word of the day, but just in general, what are you expecting today? Volatile um, rally, of course. Again, we have macro factors with the U.S. and the U.K. striking the Houthi rebels, and at the same time, we have earnings season. Yeah, I think you're going to see stability today. As long as that the hooty activity doesn't expand to, to infrastructure, then you're likely to be in the same place. We're waiting for earnings results. We're waiting to see if people, if, okay. if companies can come with the double-digit stuff.